Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about overflow property. So let's get started. All right, so I have opened brackets and now inside the project folder, I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save this as overflow.html. And I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag, we have the opening and closing head tag and for this page we have set the title to overflow and now inside the CSS folder we'll go ahead and create a new file and we'll save this file as overflow.css and now inside the HTML file inside the head we'll include the overflow.css file so we'll write link rel and we'll set this to stylesheet href and we'll set this to css slash overflow dot css and now we'll open this file in live preview all right let's discuss about the overflow property we use the overflow property when we want to add scroll bar or when we want to clip the content of an html element and overflow property works for block elements having specified height so let's inside the body we have a div and let's say it has an id sample dash div one and inside this div let's say we have a paragraph and let's say this paragraph has some random content and let's say this div having id sample dash div one has a height of 100 pixels and a width of let's say 300 pixels. So inside our CSS file, we'll write hash sample dash div one and we'll set the height property to 100 pixels and we'll set the width property to 300 pixels. And let's say it also has a padding of, let's say 15 pixels. So padding, 15 pixels and let's say it has a background color of hash EEE -E -E. so back ground dash color property and we'll set this to hash EEE -E -E. so we have set the height and width of this div having ID sample dash div 1 to 100 pixels and 300 pixels respectively so if we look at the output we can see that the content of this div is overflowing out of this div so this is a good example of overflowing of content so let's talk about the overflow property so overflow property we use this property to add scroll bar or clip the content inside an element. The element is a block element and it has its height specified and we can set the following values for this overflow property we have visible auto hidden and scroll let's talk about the visible property so this is a default value and it will not clip the content so let's say inside our html file we have another div and let's say the id of this div is sample dash div 2 
and let me give this a margin bottom of 100 pixels all right so if we want to target the div having id sample dash div 2 will write hash sample dash div 2 and let's say this div has a height of 100 pixels width of 300 pixels let's say we have a padding of let's say 5 pixels and let's say the background color is hash e e e so if we look at the output we can see that the content is overflowing because the height of the div is 100 pixels whereas the content height is more than 100 pixels so if we set the overflow to visible then we'll get the same result because the value of visible is telling us that the content will not be clipped if it overflows out of the element so this is the default value and we'll get the same result if we comment this out or we keep it now let us discuss the auto value this will add scroll bar if the content exceeds the element height so let's say inside our html file we have let's say another div having a lengthy content and let's say this div has an id sample dash div 3 and now to solve this overlapping of contents let me give sample dash div 2 a margin bottom of 100 pixels all right so to target the div having id sample dash div 3 we'll write hash sample dash div 3 and let's say this div 3 has the same height with padding background color same as div 2 so we'll copy this and we'll paste it and now if you look at the output you can see that the content is overflowing because its height is greater than the height of the element but if we want to add the scroll bar then we'll add the overflow property and we'll set the value to auto and now if we look at the output we can see that the content is not overflowing out of the element that is the div having id sample dash div 3 and we also have a scroll bar so if i scroll you can see the scroll bar so the content remains inside the element and we also get a scroll bar now let's talk about the hidden value this will hide the over flowing content so if we set the overflow property to hidden value then the content that is overflowing out of the element will be hidden so this will hide the overflowing content of the element so let's say inside our html file we have another div so i'll copy and paste and let's say the id of this div is sample dash div 4 so this is our sample dash div 4 and to 
target this div inside our CSS file, we'll write hash sample dash div four. And let's say this div has the same height width, padding and background color similar to div three and div two. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it inside sample dash div four. So we have the height for sample dash div four set to hundred pixels. But since the height of the content is greater than the height of the element. So we have an overflow. And now if we set the overflow property and we set the value of this property to hidden. So now if we look at the output, we can see that the content that was overflowing is now hidden and we don't have any scroll bar inside this div having ID sample dash div four. So if we set the overflow property to hidden, then the content that was overflowing is not shown and we also don't get any scroll bar. And now let us discuss the scroll value. This will add a scroll bar. If content exceeds the element. So let's say inside our HTML file, let's say we have another div and let's say the ID of this div is sample dash div five and to target this div inside our CSS file, we'll write hash sample dash div five. And let's say this div has same height with padding and background color similar to div four and div three and div two. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it. So now if you look at the output, we can see that the height and width of sample dash div five is hundred pixels and 300 pixels respectively. And since the height of the content is greater than the height of the element, so we have an overflow. And now to add scroll bar to this div having ID sample dash div five, all we have to do is set the overflow property to scroll. And now if we look at the output, we can see that the content of sample dash div five is no longer overflowing out of the element. And we have a scroll bar. Now let's talk about two more properties. The first one is overflow dash X and we use this to add horizontal scroll bar. And the next property is overflow dash Y and we use this to add vertical scroll bar. So let's say inside our HTML file, we have another div having ID sample dash div six. And inside the div, let's say we have a paragraph having the following content. So to target this div having ID sample dash div six, Inside our CSS file, we'll write hash sample dash div six. Now let's say this div having ID sample dash div six has the same height width, padding and background color, same as div five. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. So we have an overflow of content because the height of the content is greater than the height of the element. Now, if you want a vertical scroll bar, so we'll set the overflow dash Y to scroll. And now the content of this div having ID sample dash div six is no longer overflowing out of the element. And we have a vertical scroll bar. 
Now let's say we have another div inside our HTML file. And let's say this div has an ID sample dash div seven. And let's say inside this div, we have a pre tag and we have the following content. So this is sample dash div seven and we have a very lengthy content. So to style this div having ID sample dash div seven, Inside our CSS file, we'll write hash sample dash div seven. And let's say this div has same height with padding and background color similar to div six. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it. So if you look at the output, you can see that the content is overflowing horizontally out of this div. So in order to add horizontal scroll, we'll add the property overflow dash X and we'll set this to scroll. And now we have a horizontal scroll bar and the content of this div is no longer overflowing out of the div. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description. So please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.